Welcome, my friends, to Slovakia. Let's go and have a look on Google Maps. I think I found it. Um, the country, to be fair. Wasn't entirely sure where Slovakia was. Uh, my geography of, of anywhere, of everywhere, is is terrible. Um, but here we go. Um, it's a very green place. I think this is the right stadium. Now, there's we are expanding the stadium, so don't think too little of it. There's a nice... I'm assuming that's where the rest of the stadium's going. Uh, right, do we have... So we've got... It's a lovely little town, isn't it? I think massive, absolute massive woodland. So you take the dogs out. They'll be very happy. Do we have any Google Mappage? We do. We do have Google Mappage. Let's go Street View. And here it... <laughs> it's different. It's, I wasn't expecting that, got to be honest. It's it's an unusual building there. Um, I like it. It's, when was this taken? July 29th, uh, June 2019. Um, it's it's different. Uh, there's a, a tower there for really expensive seats up there. That's the box. Oh, yeah, executive box. That's, that's there. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, I'm sure there's a car park here. Is this the main car park? We've got some people not being dodgy. No, all good. I think that's the main car park. All right. Okay. It's lovely. It's It's got a vibe, isn't it? It's got a vibe. See, if we could buy just one of these houses, that'd be lovely. There's the old floodlights. That's the main stand there. Nobody's allowed to look over the wall because that's cheating. Dude on a bike, always good. Yep. So is this so this is the other bit of the sort of just field essentially behind it, right? Yeah, so that's that's there. If we have a look at the actual see, look! It's quite nice, isn't it? It's not bad at all. To get our two is it two thousand seater, and I reckon it looks like a decent place to live. Yes, you know, not far off the Ukraine border. That is fine, right? It'll be fine. But if we can get like one of these houses, would be nice to live up there. I'd like to live local. Well, we've got a river, bit of fishing going on. Like it. Genuinely looks like a really nice place. I'm up for this. We've got a little park next door. Lovely. Could have, could do with mowing before the Google car came around, but they like small things. There's a a place where they do auto mirvaren. It's got a sports car there, so it must be good. Um, yeah, not a bad place to live. I think we did all right, people. I don't know what the cost of living's like and how much houses. We'll worry about that on a different day. I think we'll start with a rental for the first year. And then we get a new contract and then we'll look to sell our previous house and move in, I think. But there we go. Right, I've made transfers. And I'm pretty pleased. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. So, so a couple of things first. We're playing a different, entirely different tactic, right? Want to try some other tactics? It might end horribly wrong. But I'm feeling like this is a really good time to experiment because we're a newly relegated side that only expects top half. Right? That's a, quite a fair bit of leeway. Now, we've had a, a, a very big culling of the team. Um... And made a little bit of money as well, 40k, which is nice. It's still, there's still a few dregs that I can't get rid of. One I've had particular problems with. And we've loaned, a few, mainly loans, because, um, but also, the season starts really quickly. Like, pre-season started two weeks before the season starts. There's, there's no farting about around here. We get straight in. No messing. Loki's growling at the window. He agrees. Um... So the transfer window's open for another two months. So still lots to do, but we've got some loanies in um, because <sighs> the wages are a bit high of the people that like released and free transfers and stuff. They are asking a lot of wages. I don't want it to go too crazy. I don't want to mess this club up. It seems to be running 
okay at the moment. So, right, first off, we've got Michael Luptak. He is, I'll show you the tactic in a minute, he is going to be a defensive winger on the left-hand side, essentially. Um, good physicals, decent backup. I've got another one that's the main guy. He's our backup. Only 18 years old. We've got lots of youngsters, so we don't have to worry about those rules. Uh, we've got uh, Bruno Alves on loan for... When I first saw it, I thought it was the Mafia, but no, no, it's the Mafra. Um, he's our new deep-lying forward, 24-year-old Portuguese fella. I think he'll do well this season. Good physicals, decent passing, like the teamwork and stuff. All good on that front. We have Lubos Kosorin from the, another the same team. Another centre-back. We're playing three at the back this season. Um, so add a bit more depth to the centre-back option with amazing physicals. He's a big lad as well. Big lump. His mentals are a little bit low, but that's the price you pay. Um, we'll go to the actual one I bought. Marco Prusny. Probably not right. Another centre-back option. Similar vein. Another big lump. Better mentals, etc. No ball playing defenders. We're not... <laughs> <laughs> We're not made of money. And then you've got Daniel Novak. <clears throat> so from Bratislava, I'm I'm kind of attempting to hoover up their loan players at the moment because they're decent. Um, he's going to be our pressing forward on attack um, with very good mentals. Obviously, mentals is a big part of it. Physicals and mentals for pressing forward are by far the most important part. And he's decent all around. He does look like a homeless bum, but that's it's a look that he's going for. And then this one's a little bit of a punt. Got to be honest. Now... Don't pay too much attention to the physicals. Okay, because physicals is for track and field, right? Football is about kicking balls, yeah? Um, and this name is Munir Haddad. He is Algerian and he can play ball. Can't run with the ball, but he can play ball. He's 18 years old. I thought this is a decent punt at a player that could develop pretty well. and We might make a bit of cash on I've gone for it. I love his passing and vision ability. He's going to play as a central, mid, basic central midfielder. So not too fancy or anything. I'm hopeful he can do well. But that is the sort of punt. He had a non-promotion release clause for his team for 25k. So we jumped in. Um, I'm still getting a couple more. We've got another striker hopefully to come in. And this guy, Schluboom, um, uh, from Bratislava as well. Another centre-back. This is the tactic. Now, could be awful. It's based on the Gagan press, but like toned down a little bit. Three at the back with a defensive winger on one side, a wide centre back and an attacking winger on the other side and a ball winning midfielder to sort of cover a bit of the gaps and stuff. Although I might make him just a defensive because he might roam a bit too much. We'll see. We'll see. Kodjnocker, playing <laughs> such a good name, is playing as the number 10. We've got pressing forward and stuff. So... Gonna give it a try. I don't. I still don't know what to do with the. Do you just have three cent backs on defend, or do you put one as cover or stopper? Let's not get caught up in the details. Uh, we're gonna go with this and see how we do. In the comparison, in the season preview, we are us and the other relegated side are the favourites for the league. I mean, that might just be lazy reporting. Uh, this is apparently the best. Player, really? He's okay, uh, but I think we've got a good little team together here. We are playing our first game of the season. We've got nice loanies. We haven't got. Uh, we've got one non-EU player, so we're all good on that front. We can. Trouble is, when you're trying to sign players from abroad, especially non-EU players, they want massive wages. So there's, yeah, I tried to sign one English guy, and he wanted four k a week, and I was like, no. Uh, finances wise, we're doing okay. We're on budget. We still got our initial transfer money because we sold some players, so we can adjust if necessary. But the good thing is, if we start the season and it goes horribly, horribly wrong, because because we didn't have any fullbacks to start with, so I was like, how do we play? And I was like, let's play three at the back. But because the si uh, window is open for another sixty days, if the in the first month it all goes absolute shit i can then spend a load more money and bring in some fullbacks if we need to panic or wingbacks even and sort it out so it does give us that little window which is quite nice today we are playing 
Dolny Krubin. That's a good badge. I like it. I like the badge. It's something a bit different. Um, they are, let's see where they're expected. Always good to get an idea. They are expected to be 12th. We are playing at home in the... I can't remember the stadium name. Uh, it's uh, that. It's that. It's that. We have... I thought this is a bit high. We've got a five-year stadium sponsorship worth half a million a year. It does end in next year, which is a little bit sad, which I think is what keeps the entire club afloat. So that's going to end. Hopefully we'll get a new one that's just as bananas. So we've got, uh, on the left-hand side, we've got Patrick uh, Benkovsky as our defensive winger. I think he's perfect for it. Good physicals, running up and down, solid defensively. Can get forward a bit as well. And uh, the, so the one guy that I had a problem with, this guy, I don't really have a role for him. He's good for our level, but I was like, oh, we could make a bit of money for him. So as you do, trying to offer him out, always fun. Nobody wants to bid. I get lower and lower because he's valued between like 20 and 60 or something like that. And I, in the end, I was selling him for 15K. And the board were like, no, you can't sell him for that much. We need 25k. I was like, okay, fine, whatever board, we'll move on. So I tried to argue with them. They were not having it. So I then offered him out for, um, so I waited like a few weeks. And I was like, offer him out for 24k. And I got that message saying, there's no bids. But there are teams interested and they are prepared. And one of the teams was prepared to pay 24k, which is what I offered him out for, which is confusing. Um, and then I eventually did get an offer of, I think, 23000 But the board were like, no, no, no. You can't sell him that cheap. We need at least 24000 so a grand more. And then the button at the right to say offer to clubs for 24000 only said 25000 in which they rejected. So we've had a lot of fun with that. A lot of fun. A lot of fun with that. Um, but the transfer window is still open, so hopefully I'll get rid of him. Because he can't play up top. Because he has no ability to finish. I don't really have an attacking winger on the left. Which he'd be very good at. I want to try and mix things up a little bit. And we've got two good defensive wingers. He can't be a defensive winger because he's rubbish. So there's just no place for him. And he's 28 years old. He's going to be as good as he ever is. All right. So we've got Kermit in goal. We've got Kodjnokka as the dream. So Kodjnokka and the Snadge are going to battle it out for that number 10 spot. And we're hopefully, like I said, bringing in another striker, um, another central midfielder, and and maybe one more centre back because you need loads. Because we need loads. Don't have the most depth um, in the world. Right? Are we ready to go now? Quick edit here because I've just remembered I haven't done the set pieces. On the set piece taker front, as you know, I always and never think to think make sure we've got a decent penalty taker or corner taker. We don't have a single guy in double figures at anything, not even throwing. Um, so, yeah, not going to play for set pieces this season. Right. Please, can we... The optimism of the first game of the season. Please, can I just have a win? A decent performance, creating a few chances. I feel like we're going to concede goals, especially if they're really playing down the wings and stuff. That is going to be the absolute... It's the negative of this tactic, right? But hopefully we score loads. That's essentially my plan. It's not the most clever of plans in the world. <clears throat> well, let's, let's see what we got. Well, we're playing in the blue, right? Is it blue? Yeah, there's her dad. Go on. Oh, what a finish! What What a finish! Norbert! I didn't even realise his name was Norbert. Oh, that's amazing. I've got to change his nickname. What a finish this is! Ten minutes in. Chubbs into her dad. And then Norbert. Beautiful goal. Absolute sensational goal from the... Uh, it's Norbert's such a great name. It's just, I love it, right? Well, we're going to win the league, aren't we? <laughs> Good whippage. The Portuguese wonder kid. Well, he's, I think he's 25. Maybe not a wonder kid. The Portuguese human. Have they got a player called Chuddy? That's great. Oh! 
What a hit! What a hit! Okay. Yeah, Chuddy, what a great... Now, look at this for a shot, though. I think like, the goalkeeper's got to do better, but he absolutely smashes it in. Okay. <clears throat> we are quite reliant on Kermit... On Kermit being good, because the backups... We've got a youngster that's okay and a backup that's meh. So he does need to be good. All right, lip tack. That's a nice ball out wide to our ego. Okay, that was... That's a little bit free, isn't it? It's a little bit free. Okay, well, it's taken the shine off, hasn't it? Hmm? <laughs> okay. All right, Haddad goes near post, flicks it on. Prusny, so we gonna that's what we're going for. Prusny. We'll give it a go. That's nice. Murat. Kodge knocker. That's nice. Bunkovsky whips the ball into Novak. Head defensive header. Oh, keeper spilled it. Okay. Go on. Oh no, this this smells counter attacky. Because I just wanted to try a wide centre back. I thought, is that is that him, right? That's Prusny. Is that... Yeah. A little bit too wide. Oh, lovely flick on. Bruno! Oh, he's got to finish that. We're creating chances, though. Many chances. It's, it's going to be a, lo a lot of chances in this season. Okay. We're unlucky. Well, don't lose this game. At least if we can draw it with a lot of XG, I'm I'm okay with that. Haddad wins it well with those powerful physicals of his. Right, Prusny. There we go. Chubbs. Codge knocker. Lovely ball. Novak. Novak. Surely he's got a score. One on one with the keeper. Dings him. Get in there. Go on, Novak. Codge knocker with the assist. Codge knocker might be one of my favourite nicknames. I don't know why. It just tickles me. Oh, look at the XG. Look at it. Nice. All right. Modge. Oh, lovely. Haddad. He's playing right, Haddad, isn't he? He's getting involved. Bruno. Okay, misread. They're still gelling. Still gelling together. Early clearance. Puchny heads it forward. Oh, heavy touch. Sabbles there. It's Norbert. Norbert. Go on, Norbs. Chubbs. Novak. Novak. Good save. Right. Although it's two all, that's a very good first half. I'm happy with that. 2.6 XG. 14 shots. Great possession. Good pass completion. My God, they must be playing. I'm hopeful they're playing long ball because that is awful. Right. No, no, outstretched arms. Yeah, 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 we're gonna win this eventually. How can we not? It's gonna be because it's obviously a pressing tactic. It's gonna be tiring, but that's okay. We will get a few more squad players in. Okay, Bruno Alves has uh, got to take his chances. He's had a couple of poor misses. Chubbs flicks it forward. Win that. Wins it again. Lovely against two. Go on, Chubbs. Get it to him. We've got to be the the long ball wide. Wow. Okay. The long ball wide sort of counter attack is the danger of this tactic. Good block. Haddad. Don't know what you're doing there, but well done. Bruno wins it well. Wide if you need. There we go. Benkovsky. Nice. Haddad. Oh, what a ball that is. Oh, lovely from Norbert. What a finish. What a goal, lads. Oh, that's spectacular. I've seen more skillful football than, <laughs> than I have in my entire time in Egypt. Because <laughs> we were awful. All right. Okay. I don't know how Haddad's only playing a 6.9. Right, Kodge knocker, Haddad. Okay, does the right thing. Nice. Oh, Bruno. 
poor. Good win, Albert. My rat. My dad. Look at the balls he's playing. Oof. Go on, Albert. Go on. Oh, Kodjanocker in the near post. Tries to win the header. Remember, we are dangerous. There's a high chance we concede. So we always need at least a two or three goal lead. Okay, Benkovsky. Bruno Alves. My dad. Oh, I like the idea. I like what he's doing. I like it. Norbert's playing a 9.3. Might win this. So we could do some... No, I'm still too early. My God, this, this produces a lot of highlights. <laughs> Oh, nice. Novak. Lovely. Kodjanoka takes it around the goalkeeper. And there's the two-goal cushion. Nicely done, boys. I'll give you a bit of... Pra oh, I almost berated. A bit of praise for that, lads. Okay. This is a good sign. I know they're a bad team. But this is good. All right, Norbert. He does well. He's having a game of his life here. Around the corner, Benkovsky heads it down. Kodjanoka on the volley. <sighs> They're not going to demonetize me for Kodjanoka, are they? No, it doesn't sound... It sounds like it might be dirty, but it's not. Oh, he's missed the header. Oh! Okay. Oh, what a ball that is from the goalkeeper. Benkovsky, really good first touch. Norbert, looking for a 10 this game. Shooty, Bruno, oh my God, you're off, you're off. Bruno Alves, how have you not scored? Tomko is not amazing. We've got Michael Todd, we're waiting for one more. He's more of a pressing fall. None of these are really deep run forwards. But we're, we, should, we should be fine. Um... Let's. Who needs actual rest? I want to keep Norbert on. I know he's getting tired, but he's, he's got a chance of a 10 here, lads. Uh, Kuzma can come on for the boarding midfielder. And Luptak can come on there. Right. Look at the XG. I want five. I want five XG here, lads. Good header away. Counter attack. Novak. Acres of space to run into. Just plays it into the middle. Oh, go on, Tomko. Go on. He was the one that was already here. The only striker I kept. And only because he signed a new deal that I wasn't part of. Okay. I like the shape so far. Well, the idea was good, but, you know, you never beat Chuddy from there. Chuddy launches one into space. It's coming down. Oh, Murat does brilliantly. Haddad, has he got another ping in his locker? Of course he has. Why am I even questioning it? Norbert across. Oh, there should have been somebody on the end of that. Can't believe he didn't get on the end. That's offside, isn't it? Oh, no. It's 4-3. How is this 4-3? Is it off? It's off. Okay, good. We're not going to get to the 5xG. Okay, Norbert can come off. You've been a legend. What a performance. I can't count. What a performance for Norbert. We're not going to hit the 5. Taking their foot off the gas. Lazy. Lazy. Right. Oh, 4.8. We'll take a 4.8 xG. That will do. We are going to concede goals. I knew this making the tactic that we are going to concede goals. But that's the price we pay to be that attacking and have many men forward. Two strikers and a number 10 and an attacking winger. So hopefully, but overall, hey! Might work, this tactic. <laughs> I know it's one game at home against... We're a relegated side, and we're playing at home against a terrible team. But, putting that aside, might be the best tactic I've ever made. Let's just leave it there. Let's just finish the episode on that bombshell. Right, there we go, my friends. Welcome to Slovakia. 
hope you have a fun time here. We need we need a good job. Okay, we need a good performance. Otherwise, we're just going to float around in the dregs of two-star reputation teams for the entirety of the series, okay? And while that might be fun, I'd like to maybe, you know, win a bit of silverware or something at some point. Right, thank you very much for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.